about crazy. That's what I aim to determine. Now, let's begin. What is your name? You know my name. Please, answer the question. My name is Olive Queen. Hey everybody, it's Charlie. This is going to be my Arrow episode 4 video, a very clockwork orange type of episode, at least from Oliver's perspective. But we got all kinds of flash forwards and a whole bunch of details revealed about what happens to people in the future. There's a new round of that DC streaming service giveaway. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a DC related comment on the video. Obviously careful for spoilers from the episode if you haven't seen it yet. Top 10 WTF and Easter eggs. Here we go. Number 10, Oliver wakes up in level two and it's full clockwork orange green arrow this week. Jeremy Carver is the psychiatrist working on level two. He seems fairly genuine in his mission to try and reform Oliver Queen, but he's treating the green arrow as sort of a symptom of a larger problem, throwing his father under the bus. So if you haven't seen Stanley Kubrick's Clockwork Orange, it's an amazing movie, but it's basically the same path, like slowly breaking down and reforming someone that he thinks is a dangerous criminal. But the interesting thing about the message of that movie is it's all about free will. So this is just another challenge for Oliver to try and maintain his identity while he's going through all this. Number nine, Felicity starts to go hilariously dark when she's interrogating that longbow hunter. There were a couple funny moments with Black Siren where she talks about Earth 2 Felicity. Oh, my Felicity ran an empire, but she was ruthless. Are you prepared to be ruthless? Like, how dark are you going to get in your mission to try and save Oliver and help the city? There were a couple references that old Roy made in the flash forwards to things going really badly and seemingly kind of bitter about something that Felicity may do in the future. This might have something to do with the path that she's on, just implying that she does go pretty dark. But number eight, the new Green Arrow saves Wild Dog's daughter from an attack. This sort of sets up a larger plot that they pay off in the flash forwards with people going around setting fires in the glaze, just randomly blowing things up, then buying the real estate on the cheap. It wouldn't be a new season of Arrow if someone weren't trying to burn down the glades. Remember, that was the whole thing that Malcolm Merlin was trying to do with The Undertaking. Destroy the glades so that they could clean it up and turn it into something nicer. The way they set up this new criminal group that's going around setting all these fires makes it a little more sinister though, especially when you find out what ends up happening in the future. I did like Wild Dog's reaction to the Bebo Easter egg. Why are you bringing that in here? She's way too old for that. That's ridiculous. The other shows now in the Arrowverse have tried to keep that Bebo joke alive where it just pops up on other people's shows every once in a while. Seven, the psychiatrist doses Oliver with truth serum, forcing him to relive a lot of his memories from the pilot. Like he has to go back into the moment when his father killed himself in that life raft. And this is all part of the larger storyline for season seven, examining Oliver's legacy as the Green Arrow with William, obviously. They directly reference that during the episode. But in this moment, it's through the lens of Oliver's father, like the legacy he's left you. He's put all these sins on you, trapped you in this never ending cycle of torture that you're unable to move forward from. Duly noted, the psychiatrist, not a big fan of Oliver's father. The other thing they start referencing too is the idea of the name Queen, Oliver Queen. My name is Oliver Queen at the beginning of the episode. Oliver's father killing the guard because he wasn't part of the Queen family, or at least as the psychiatrist implies. That's all part of the larger storyline, the legacy of Green Arrow, and that also has something to do with the brand new Green Arrow, you know, the mystery person that we haven't figured out yet. But you may have heard there was actually a big reveal a couple weeks ago. I didn't do an Arrow video last week, but it actually has since been revealed, or at least implied, who the new Green Arrow is. I won't say here because it is kind of spoilery and it hasn't been officially revealed yet, but if you start to look at some of the clues in the references that they lay into their dialogue, like talking about the legacy of Oliver's father, the queen name, all these things, you can start to put the pieces together. Please be careful about posting spoilers in the comments. But if you're a big Green Arrow comic book fan, it's going to be a big Easter egg from the comics, so you'll be really happy about that. Six, Felicity joking about Black Siren not being a real lawyer. This is something that I've thought about since last season. Like, how are they going to justify her pretending to be a lawyer? Like, she actually does have to practice law in her job. Black Siren's reaction is sort of the writers just joking about it, tongue-in-cheek, like, yeah, 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 let's move on to the next thing. But they have a good laugh about it. 
they make a good pair together, but the whole reason that Black Siren is there is to like try to like shake some sense into Felicity. Like, look, I have killed a lot of people, and I can tell you, you're never going to come back from this if you torture this girl too much. So it's just more of them implying that Felicity might go super dark in the future, and that leads to some of the chaos that you see in those flash forwards with old William and old Roy. But number five, Old Roy and William enter Smoke Technologies. So obviously this is just paying off the storyline that they initially teased. I think it started during Legends of Tomorrow and then they did it again during the Arrow 100th episode where Oliver was in that dream state. You see the building in the background. But it's again, like Black Siren says, the Felicity of Earth 2 created this empire with Smoke Technologies, but her Felicity over on that Earth was crazy dark. So the whole reason that they're there in all this wreckage, because the city has just gone to complete shit, they even joke about that too, like, wow, it's just as bad as I remember it. But the whole reason why they're there is, is because someone that they think is Felicity Smoke has been using the Hosen to lead them around. It wants them to get this special Rubik's Cube map that Felicity seemingly left behind. We finally get to meet the older version of Black Canary, who has become a vigilante again, looks a little battle-worn. She references things going really badly in the future too. They're all really vague about the bad things that happen, but then you get the full explainer a little bit later in the episode. Four, they finally go full clockwork orange on Oliver, hooking him up to that special dream machine, making him relive his father's death through the life raft, only altering it this time so that Oliver's perceiving it as if it were him and William that were stuck in there, and he's the person to kill himself. In a perfect world, I would use that as the thumbnail just because it would give everybody a heart attack, but YouTube would demonetize my video immediately. But it's probably one of the most incendiary, like, fake scenes that they've ever done. Like, oh my gosh, Oliver Queen, and he's killing himself. This is crazy. Three, Black Canary finally comes around on the new Green Arrow after she helps them take down all those thugs that were trying to blow up the theater. This is them just paying off that Black Canary arc within the episode. I'm glad they didn't drag it on longer because you never really like it when Team Arrow is fighting itself. We did that last season and it was really unpopular. So this is her just coming around, doing it Quentin style, like bending the rules when it was necessary. But number two, big WTF, Oliver is seemingly broken and reprogrammed by this mental device. That's what his response was meant to imply, because at the beginning of the episode, the psychiatrist says, what's your name? And he says, my name is Oliver Queen. That's one of the cornerstones of the intros that they do in each episode. My name is Oliver Queen. But now after he's been in this mental device, he says, what is your name? And he says, my name is inmate 4587, implying that he might be broken. It's the exact same thing they did during season five when Prometheus was raking him over the coals over all of his past perceived misdeeds. So number one, biggest reveal though, what is happening in the future? Black Canary reveals that it couldn't be Felicity that's been leading them around with that Hosen because Felicity in this future timeline is supposed to be dead and they reveal that the city really went to shit when the Glades built a wall around because things had gotten so bad. So it gives you an idea for what the criminals in the past were trying to do, trying to buy up all that real estate, trying to create the circumstances that would allow them to turn the Glades into a self-contained fortress that they could control. They were pretty on the nose with their political metaphors, like what does build a wall around it remind you of? We also get to meet the older version of Zoe that looks like she's either become a new version of a Black Canary or just another vigilante. We don't know what her code name is, but she's wearing a mask that looks exactly like Black Canary's mask. But obviously the big teaser for the future episodes is, you know, who is the person that's been leading old Roy and William around? What I'm hoping is, is that this mystery person in the future is also the mystery Green Arrow in present day. So they'll like sort of solve both of those at the same time when they reveal who it is. Let me know in the comments what was your favorite WTF moment and if you spotted any Easter eggs that I didn't mention in the video. There's no Flash tomorrow because there's an election happening in the United States, but it'll be back the week after that. There was a new Captain Marvel promo that just dropped, so I'll probably do a video for that tomorrow. It was a really fun Easter egg. Click here for that new Flash trailer and another crossover teaser, and click here to learn all about X-Men in Black Panther 2. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody stay awesome. I'll see you guys tonight.